Welcome guys to the continuation of our course series Public Economics. In the last video we have seen market efficiency and market failure. Now let's continue oh, after externality continue with the imperfect in competition, public goods and asymmetric information causes for the market failures. So imperfect competition. This is the, the supply curve marginal cost and there is the demand curve for the willingness to pay. Willingness to pay is also the average revenue for a perfectly competitive market. The demand curve is average revenue for the perfectly competitive market. In that case equilibrium should be Q star output. But if it is monopoly then this MR marginal revenue wherever crosses this marginal cost will be the equilibrium point and the corresponding price will be this much p star so this much will be the q star will be the quantity in the monopoly system so we are losing this much output and q e minus q star and on this output welfare benefits were greater than cost of production to the society so we are losing this much uh, benefits for the society uh, this triangle SRT is the total welfare loss to the society if there is imperfect competition or monopoly. Next is the public goods. So public goods are there are two dimensions basically one is excludable and second is rivalness or non rivalness. So if the good is excludable and rival that means it's private good and on the other part if the good is non excludable and non rival that becomes a pure public good and in between there are goods which are excludable but non rival and there are other goods which are non excludable but they are rival so they becomes impure public goods so we will see how market failures occurs in public goods or pure public goods cost to society for the producing that uh, goods or services marginal cost curve this is the demand curve or marginal social benefit revealed but this is the actual marginal social benefits they are society is getting but because everybody thinks that they can be the free rider so they won't reveal their true preferences they will always underestimate their true benefits they are deriving through that public utility or public good so in that scenario if they will reveal less benefits then the output equilibrium will be at QA otherwise for the society actual output equilibrium should be QE which is greater than this less revealed preferences output so this much difference QE minus QA is the hair benefit to the society is greater than what is cost of the production to the society so this triangle SRT is the welfare loss to the society so next is asymmetric information how asymmetric information causes market failure this is the marginal social benefit when agent don't have the full information the buyer don't have the full information he will assume that uh, he is getting this much of benefits at each quantity but uh, with the all the information if he have then this will be the benefit curve see there is a benefit difference he is assuming a greater amount of benefits but in reality with the full information he will only have this curve benefits are uh, less than what he is assuming with the less information. So in that case in the reality case this should be the output the equilibrium output but uh, with the less information this much is the output Q star. So there is a negative effect on the consumer side and this difference of quantity where the cost to producing the society cost to producing the, the society is greater than what are the actual benefits the society is deriving so this triangle srt is the welfare loss 
to the society okay guys in the next video we will learn some of the cases of government failure see you there and if there is doubt or query you can post it in the comment section below thank you guys